Welcome. So this is going to be the signature assignment, your TechQuest portfolio. And the TechQuest portfolio is going to be a website that includes all of the learning that you've done this semester. So this is a sample that I've created. And as you can see here on the front, there's a spreadsheet. And the spreadsheet is going to be kind of like a scorekeeper. Think of this almost as a game. The more activities that you do, the more points that you're going to get. Here on the right hand side of the spreadsheet, it's going to tell you uh, some of the more important details that you need to know, such as you don't have to do everything on this spreadsheet. You only need to try and get as close as you can to 400 points. Furthermore, you can jump around even though on the side here it says week one, week two, week three. That's just kind of a marker telling you more or less where we cover that topic. But if we're in week one and you want to jump down and do something from week three, you can do so. We can be at week 10 or eight and you can come back and do something from week two. Now everything that I do here is going to be kept track of on my website. So when I do, uh, let's see, uh, some of the things that I've done, it says uh, create a podcast. You may use any tool you wish. So I have an example of a podcast here. So I push a yes. I go into my TechQuest portfolio. And I can find that podcast in TPE1. And here on TPE1, it says create a podcast line 16. So you put whatever you whatever it is that you made. And this was a really nice one made by a former student. He took uh, his, it was 25 minutes, but it was, a, it was a really good, engaging podcast. And it says, this podcast was created by a CSUB student, Oscar Alonzo, to share his research on gamification in the classroom. Uh, but uh, you, you are not going to do it on podcasts that other people you, uh, make. You're gonna make your own podcast if you choose to do that assignment. And then you're gonna write three or four sentences describing how you can use it in the classroom. All of these are colored as uh, as TPE standards but really you can move some of them around so even though it says like planning instruction and designing for all students maybe you think well you know I don't think uh, this goes here so much I can use it for engaging all students if you want to switch something around you can but this is how I color coded them so that you can just plug them into your website so if you do something for this one TPE 6 on your website you would put it over here for TPE 6 if you do something for TPE, oops, where to go? If you do something for TPE five, you can go and plug it into your website for TPE five. We have another one here that I put for TPE four. This was from the same student, Oscar Alonzo. Um, put about three to four sentences describing how you can use it in the classroom. Put the put the link, and there you go. Get getting yourself uh, started now. You don't have to do all of the all of the activities. That's number one. Second, you need to pace yourself as you do them. So each week I'll be giving you a tutorial and uh, and the tutorial will help you get about 10, 15, sometimes 20 points to be on track to finish the class at the end of the at the end of the semester. You need to have about 20 to 25 points a week. So this week, what we're going to be doing right now it's going to be setting you up for uh, 25 points. You're going to be or for 30 points. So you're going to be a little bit ahead. You're going to be making your Gmail account and you're going to be making a web page using Wix. And from there, we're going to take off. And again, every week I'll be giving you some new activities that you can go ahead and keep track of, put them on your website. And I really will be walking through you through a lot of the process. Now, if you are a pro with technology and I'm moving too slow for you, by all means, you can move ahead as as quickly as you like.